This lesson is entitled, Entrepreneurs Solve Problems. And that's really the key of business. It's what I do every day, trying to figure out what's the best way to approach and to solve problems. And, and it's a part of decision-making. And that's, that's the element of any entrepreneur or any business owner. And so when we think about it, there's a lot of different problems that any business owner has to solve, any entrepreneur. And one of them is, is how do I get people in? We talked about advertising in our last session, but it's a critical piece. When we think about advertising, if my business isn't really very busy on Mondays, then I need to figure out different approaches of how I could attract people to my business on Mondays. And maybe I would run some kind of a promotion where if they bring in a coupon or something like that, I would give them something with purchase or they would get a percent off on Mondays. That's an example of maximizing some of those capital resources, right? Because you have your building that you're running your business out of and you need to maximize that because it's going to be there, which is a good thing but also it's costing you money every day. So that's kind of a bad thing. And so advertising is a way to try to smooth out the business that you have. A business owner is constantly, an entrepreneur is focused on trying to determine the right amount to charge. This is quite an exercise. I could have this coffee mug, which has become a theme of our conversations, right? And if I had the coffee mug, honestly, I could charge, I could put a price on it of anything that I wanted. I could put a price tag on this of $20. Do you think anyone would buy a coffee mug for $20? Well, probably not. It's going to have to be a, a lot more special than what I have here in my hands. But like we talked about in our previous session, if I price it for 3 and it cost me four, that price would be a very bad price to put on the mug. And so this price is a constantly evolving thing. And so sometimes you need to run specials to get people's attention and you need to run different types of promotions. And that's all part of what we're working on. So, you know, really a, an entrepreneur and a business owner is focusing on a reward a reward for all of this effort. That reward is also often called profit. And it's what's gained from making a decision. So sometimes we make decisions on doing something special for our employees. And it doesn't help today's profit margin at all. As a matter of fact, it hurts. But sometimes it's a really nice thing to show our employees that we appreciate them. And so maybe we would bring in a, a lunch for them or something special just to show them how much we appreciate what they do. There's also a lot of different decisions that any business owner is going to make through, during the day. And we hope that it's the right decision so that there is a reward. Now, I would love to tell you that every decision is always right. But unfortunately, that's not true. Sometimes it's not. And so there's a risk. There's a chance of loss or failure. Now, sometimes that's just a part. We have to recognize that some things won't work well. We buy a group of products and it wasn't as good as what we expected them to be. So we weren't able to get the profit margin. We had to sell them maybe even at a loss because we just need to get them off of our shelf so we can put a more valuable product back on. And then when we think about the buying and selling of products and services, we have a supply. And it's the amount of goods or services that's available. So yesterday I took my vehicle in to get the oil change. I had to set a time and appointment for when I could take it in. Now, why is that? Well, because they only have a certain amount of mechanics available to work on my vehicle and they know approximately when i told them i wanted my oil change they know the amount of time that they need to allot for joe the mechanic to actually work on my vehicle 
And so there's an example of recognizing and managing the supply that you have. Sometimes that supply is really easy to see. We could look on the shelf and see how many coffee mugs do I have left. But sometimes it's a service. It's how many lawns could I mow in a day? If I'm already booked to babysit on Friday night, then if somebody else calls, the only answer I can provide is, no, I'm not available. I'd love to serve you on another day. And so those are all examples of understanding the supply and making business decisions. Sometimes business decisions are really hard, but that's why we have a job. That's why we have work. And so I appreciate your time today. I hope that you enjoy the conversation on this lesson, and I look forward to speaking with you in the future.